My name is Andrew Forbes. I'm a distinguished professor within the School of Physics here at WITS and I lead a group that works on structured light. And structured light means taking light in whatever form it comes and tailoring it to your need. So we tailor light in its amplitude, how much light there is, its phase, how it's going to propagate or travel as it goes through space, and its polarization, the direction that the light is going to move things around. We choose to target communications as our primary application area. And what would you do in communications with structured light? Well, you would use the structured light, that is, creating patterns of light, to increase the bandwidth of present communication systems. The idea is very simple. If you can get a thousand patterns to work in the channel, perhaps the channel is fiber optic, and each pattern is carrying the same capacity as today's communication systems, then you have instantly increased the bandwidth by a factor of a thousand. Now to do that, you must know how to create those patterns, you must know how to send them down the channel, and you must know how to detect them. And these are precisely the toolkits that we work on in Structured Light. Now the idea is to make the communication channels faster. But what we've done recently here at WITS is to bring in a toolkit of quantum light, how to control single photons and entangled states. And by bringing the two together, we can make communication systems not only fast by using many patterns, but also fundamentally secure by bringing in the quantum toolkit as well. I'm often asked, where is the structured light? Where will I see it? And the truth is that you won't see it. It will be inside the box, hidden behind the scenes. But what you will notice is that your YouTube video downloads faster. You can watch internet TV without any hiccups. And more prevalent today, I think, is concerns over security. Given that everything is going to be online, everything is cyber, how do we make that fundamentally secure? And so if our technology is truly adopted and it reaches the impact that we want it to reach, your data will be fundamentally secure. You no longer will have to worry about somebody intercepting and stealing your secrets.